shotgun for Mahomes. Protection initially. Mahomes brought down. What pops out to you on film about KC? Are they better than the three or four record indicates? Yeah, look, I think it's a foolish scenario to think this team's not explosive in their games. They're very, very talented, they're very well coached. This team can score points as fast as they want to. Their defense is very aggressive. Spags does a great job mixing up the blitzes, really getting after aggressively, and they've got one of the top first team units in the league. Are there some things that go out of the window when trying to contain Pat Mahomes, knowing that he has the ability to extend plays, especially and it makes it tough on a defense? I think the thing with Pat is you've got to play your assignments and you have to play with good fundamentals. He's he's a different kind of player, and I say it in a very complimentary way. And this guy can improvise on his feet, he can make any throw on the field. You know, he looks more like a point guard out there and how he distributes the ball on the move when he gets outside the pocket. But if you let him sit in the pocket, he's very, very effective. Something that stood out to me that you told us after the media press conference is that, hey guys, we're going to be all right. You've shown that on the field. How do you keep that momentum going? And what gives you the confidence that this group is going to get everything turned around? I think confidence comes, number one, just from practice execution. And my confidence in the team comes from how they come to work every day and prepare. You know, we talk to them all the time. It's about being consistent with the process. It's about doing what it takes that you have to do to have success. You can't skip any steps. There's no shortcuts. So you can't get caught up in too many big picture things. You got to keep your focus very narrow, keep the target small, and know what you're working for each week. Jones runs a reverse. Pettis throws it for Jones, who makes a one-handed catch and gets shoulder down at the 32-yard line by Chandler. Given your bad string of injuries with the team, even though the next man has stepped up, was there any nervousness when Daniel's going out for that play, even though he made a great catch, but he's still taking a brutal hit? I don't know we expected him to take that kind of hit, and we thought schematically be a little bit clean, but in terms of Daniel, I mean, that's part of the game. He's got pads on too, so we're not looking to go ahead and throw him unnecessarily into the fray, but when the time comes up, whether he's in the pocket or he's to escape with his feet or there's a play designed for him, you know, chances are he's going to have to make somebody miss in space. And you know, did a great job making a one-handed catch, hold on to the ball. He saw me just kind of gets up, flips the ball, and moves on to the next play. Yeah, his new nickname is ODJ. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Good Appreciate it. Thank you.